Hi there, I'm Scott Lang from IHSA and I'm here today to talk to you about the difference between a signaler and a traffic control person. The signaler's role on the job site is to guide operators moving equipment, materials and vehicles at the workplace or the job site. They communicate using hand signals that they've been predetermined. So backing up, stop, right, left. This is their main mode of communication with the operator. The TCP person will use a stop and slow traffic to protect the workers and the public on the roadway and they communicate using a very different tool, the TC22. This stop and slow paddle are what their main mode of communication is and they'll use this to slow down motorists on the roadway before they enter and go through the work zone. So key things to delineate between the two. Both are controlling hazards that support vehicles, traffic moving around the site or on the roadway. In 2017 to 2022, there were actually 192 critical injuries and 22 fatalities involving vehicles and equipment where workers were struck by and fatally injured or seriously injured. Now the signaler has a key difference than the traffic control person is one, they're there to guide the operator and there's three things when you need to have a signaler on a job site. One, the vehicle or the equipment moving around the site, their intended path is obstructed and we need to basically bring them in safely. Two, workers could be endangered by the vehicle traffic or the equipment moving around. And three, any time a vehicle or equipment approaches an overhead power line. I'm Scott Lang from IHSA. Please subscribe to our YouTube videos for more safety videos or visit us at IHSA's website, www.ihsa.ca. Thanks very much.